Hello. I miss the sea so much. I live inland in the middle of France and I'm surrounded by vineyards and I really truly miss the sea. I'm a sea girl so I thought I'd do another seascape but this time a little bit different. I've got this gorgeous mold from Molds and Shapes into which I've put all sorts of things as you can see. Little stones, shells, broken shells, whatever you've got. And all I want to do at the moment is um, start filling it. I've got some mixed glitter from Just For You Online UK. Um, I have fine gold, uh, ruby blue and white ignition dust and one more. Uh, turquoise or azure blue I can't remember but all the glitters come from uh, just for you online UK I will be using the premium epoxy resin and for my color for the water I am using the midnight blue resin dye which I've done in different intensities to get two different color shades That's the first layer done. I will let it cure 24 hours and I'll come back tomorrow. Continuing with this piece, I'm going to do a second layer. I've got transparent and a, again, a tiny little bit of the blue. And it's just a question of Putting more on. So this is going to cure again and then I can take it out of the mold and do another layer. And the reason why I want to take it out of the mold is now I'm very close to the edge it'll go, it'll flood and it'll make cleaning quite difficult. So I prefer to take it out of the mold and this way I can protect the edges or the underneath with latex, whichever you prefer and do another layer. So see you then. So I've just got some scotch tape and I'm going to protect the edges. And now just going to do a clear. I've just got a little bit of resin. Hopefully it's enough. I just want to do another clear layer. And that's it for this layer. Need to wait for it to cure 24 hours and then I'll think about what I want to do to it if I want to do anything. I still haven't decided. So I'll see you then. Hello. <clears throat> so yesterday we worked on this piece and when I finished the video, I dropped the lid all over it. So I tried to scrape as much as I could because it was a total mess. And <laughs> that's what it looks like at the moment. So it doesn't matter. It's one of those things. And I want to try something that I've never tried before. I've just received it. It's called Wavecast Textured Water Surfaces. It comes from Just For You Online UK. It's a new product launch and I want to try it. I've no idea. I've never used it before. 
I only opened it to check what it was like. And I'm going to use it for the first time in front of you, which <laughs> may not be the best of ideas. So apparently you just brush it on a clean surface in a layer and we'll see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> that's that done. And okay, we'll let it dry, see what happens. We're back with this piece. If you remember, we used the Wavecast Texture, a new product from Just For You Online UK. And this is the result. I don't know if you can see it properly on the video. I will take proper pictures in the sunlight so you can see the water effect. And what I did with this one is I did a stippling. I wanted it to look like water that just had been hit by the wind as opposed to doing waves. And there's all sorts of um, effects that you can do with this. This is one of them. I hope you enjoyed the video and obviously I will show you the finished product in the sunlight. So thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Bye.